A very good evening to one and all present here. I, Isha Menor, and I, Arya Nambiar, stand before you today with immense pride and joy as we gather here to celebrate a college in the secret room. This is a momentous occasion that marks the beginning of a new chapter in the life of a young scholar. As we embark on this journey, we must remember that leadership is not merely about titles, but about service and responsibility. Embrace challenges with an open mind and a willingness to learn from every experience. Your actions will shape the future of our college, and I have faith that you will make us all proud. To the rest of our students, I encourage you to support your leaders, collaborate with them, and actively participate in all aspects of your college life. Together, we can build a vibrant and inclusive community that fosters personal growth and academic excellence. Let this investigative ceremony serve as a reminder that our college is not just a place of learning, it is a place to create lifelong friendships, discover passions, and become better versions of ourselves. I extend my gratitude to the faculty and staff whose dedication and nurtured our student standards and aspirations. Your guidance has been invaluable in shaping the leaders we honor today. As we move forward, let us embrace change, celebrate diversity, and foster an environment of respect and understanding. Together, let us create a college that empowers every individual to thrive and make a positive impact on the world. Thank you all for being part of this special occasion. Let us now commence this investiture ceremony and look forward to a bright future for our college. Welcome to the investiture ceremony, 2023. Fear gives us hope and strength. As we all know, no program can be started without remembering the Almighty, the creator of our universe. So, let us all kindly rise for the prayer. Marvinil Semmaye, Chaibavaliye, Manbagaliye, Yen Tamil Thaye, Beer Bad, Thank you, sir. 
Now, I would like to call upon Ms. Salika S., the Speaker of the Students Council uh, of the year 2022-23, to deliver the welcome address. A very warm good evening to one and all present here. I would like to begin today's address by quoting the philosopher Heraclitus. He said, the only constant in life is change. And today, we are all gathered here to commemorate a radical change in the Student Representative Committee that is the River of Students Council. Today, as we mark the end of our term as student representatives, I would like to welcome all the dignitaries who have been part of this challenging yet wonderful and memorable journey. I would first like to welcome our Chief Guest for the Ceremony, Professor Nicole Lesetra, Head of the Department of Agriculture and Forest Sciences in the University of Tassia. Italy, who has taken out some of it, who has taken out some of his much precious and valuable time to be with us on this time. We wholeheartedly welcome you, sir, to the institution and are honored to have you today as the chief guest for the event. Welcome, sir. Next, I would like to welcome our very beloved dean, Dr. B. Serian, without whom nothing would have been possible. He has been a source of immense support for all the ideas put forth and has always provided us with the necessary resources to pull off these nascent ideas to make them a grand success. Sir, I welcome you to today's function. <laughs> Next, I would like to welcome our dear associate patron, Dr. Avinash Lakavar, who has devoted a huge part of his time for us. been an in integral part in forming all ideas through a series of cross-questioning and providing us with his valuable inputs for coming up with a solid presentable idea. He has been yet another source of great inspiration and motivation to us all. I welcome you to today's function, sir. Now, I would like to welcome the chairman of our election committee, Dr. H. K. Mukhopadhyay, sir, who, with his team, has put in massive efforts to bring about the newly elected members of the council. meticulous planning and carrying out every aspect of the same to their, uh, to their best besides their busy schedule. I wholeheartedly welcome you and your team, sir. I would like to welcome the Deputy Registrar of Academics, Dr. Ganeshan, sir, and the Deputy Registrar of Finance, Dr. Ajay Kumar, sir, who has taught us the value of thorough planning and cautious use of funds to bring about extraordinary results with the resources at hand. We would be lost without the immense support of these great men who has always had our backs. I welcome them once again to the event. <laughs> Next, I would like to welcome our dear faculty members who has always been a source of immense support and a valuable source of guidance for the team at every moment throughout the term. I wholeheartedly welcome you all to the ceremony. Last, <laughs> last but not the least, I would like to welcome our students who have given us the honor to represent them in this institution as the members and the members of the old and new council who has given our blood and sweat to fulfill their expectations of the same. As Oprah Winfrey once said, challenges are gifts that force us to search for a new center of gravity. Don't fight them, just find a way to stand. Being a member of the council has truly come with its own challenges, but it has been a great honor to have such a wonderful team members providing each other courage and comfort to stand in these challenges and overcome them together. So, I welcome you all to today's investiture ceremony. Every new beginning comes from another beginning's end. So today, as we come to an end of our tenure as representatives of the students, I would like to thank all of them for entrusting us with the responsibility to represent each and every one of them and would like to wish all the newly elected members the very best to carry out to their maximum potential this great honor. With these few words, I once again welcome you all to the investiture ceremony for the academic year 23-24. Thank you all. In a year marked by dedication and unity, our new Markpal Student Council has shown brilliantly. Their tireless efforts and unwavering commitment have brought about positive change.
through countless hours of planning, organizing, and executive events. They have not only elevated our student experience, but also exemplified the true essence of leadership. Our student council represents our college as a whole, a tight knit group coming from all strata of society, from all across the country. It is a heterogeneous group, constantly encouraging a convergence of ideas from different minds and constantly evolving. So, let us now take a moment to look back upon the wonderful year that the STEAM has created. I would like to call upon the General Secretary, Mr. Sairam Desai, to present the annual report on the activities of the Students' Council. Respected Chief Guest, Pro Guest Professor Nicola Vestaya, Respected Team, Dr. V. Sejin, Respected Associate Patron, Dr. Avinas Sir, and Respected Professors, and all my dear friends, a very good evening to everyone present over here. I am present over here to present all the activities done by the Students' Council in the year 2022-23. First, World Environment Day was celebrated on 5th June 2022 on the theme Best Out of Waste. A competition was organized for the students of Rio for creating something useful by recycling waste material. Second, World Yoga Day was celebrated on 21st June 2022 by organizing Smriti, a memory game to test the memory and concentration among the students of our institution. A video on yoga was read for reducing mental stress and was released through the Instagram page of River. We also conducted sports in which football was, con was, in was conducted for the first time. Kargil Vijay Divas Kargil Vijay Divas on 26 July 2022 was celebrated by inviting Colonel Som Raj Bilia, Group Commander NCC Puducherry for the motivational talk focused on the personality development and professionalism for serving the society. River River, in collaboration with FSSAI, Southern Region Office, Chennai, Government of India, organized on 12th August 2022 an event on the theme Eat Right India. A walkathon was organized, which was participated by all the faculty and students of River, and was followed by Eat Right Mila, conducted by the students and staff of River at Rock Beach, Puducherry, on 12th August 2022 to create the awareness on safe, healthy, and sustainable food. The Students' Council and the NSS Civil celebrated International Youth Day on 12th August 2023 by organizing slogan writing competition for the faculty and students of River and a debate competition for the River students. Seventy-fifth Independence Day on 15th August 2022 was celebrated by hoisting of flag by our Dean Dr. V. C. G. N. The Dean highlighted the important role of freedom fighters and sacrifice of the great leaders in getting our country independent from the British rule. Online quiz competition for the students of River on 15th August 2022 to celebrate 25th Independence Day of the country was organized. <coughs> the Students' Council and the NSS River celebrate World Photography Day and World and World Humanitarian Day on 19th August 2022 by organizing a photography competition for the faculty and the students of River on the theme Post Pandemic Through Lens on August 12, 2022 to organize photography to encourage photography and the digital talent among the students and staff. Invest Teachers Ceremony 2022 of the newly elected Students' Council 2022-23 was organized on 19th August 2022 by inviting Chief Guest Dr. V. J. Chandran, IPS, Inspector General of Police, Puducherry. Teachers' Day 2022 was celebrated by Students' Council of River, Puducherry on 5th September 2022. The event was attended by a good number of retired faculty members, on the role faculty members and students of River. Campus Cleaning Drive was organized on 6th of October 2022 to commemorate the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi, leader of the Indian independence movement and the premier of the strategy of non-violence and his crucial part in getting independence to the India. All the students, faculty and staff participated to clean the river campus. To celebrate the Linguistic Harmony Day of India, 
Students Council of River organized essay writing competition on 21st November 2022. A good number of participants was also appreciated. To celebrate the cultural heritage of India, Students Council of River organized online poster making competition on 21st November 2022. <coughs> to celebrate the ethnicity and of, and of Tamil Nadu and associated states, Students Council of River organized a pongal celebration on 18 January 2022 for all the members of River family, which was praised by our team. The function was colorful with rangoli competition, preparation of the festival delicacy, the pongal, and all small games organized by the river, river or organized for the river family, which included breaking the pot, filling the bottle, lemon and the spoon race. To celebrate the 75th Republic Day of India, Students Council of River organized calligraphy competition and online quote writing competition on 26 January 2023. <coughs> A talk on power of democracy, youth perspective was delivered by Dr. V. Govind Swami, State Nodal Officer, Election Department, Puducherry on 1st April 2023 for the students of River to create awareness on the importance of casting vote during election. Freshers Day 2023 was organized on 5th April 2023 in for the upcoming batch of 2022 and 2023 students. The program included self-introduction of the students as well as various cultural events to showcase their talents. Motivational Day come insight into the IFS preparation delivered by Ms. Venjuvalli Streeter, IFS, Conservator of the Forest, Government of Puducherry, on 18th of 18 June 2023, for the students of River. For the first time in the history of River, election was held on 27th May 2023 to elect the new office bearers of the Students Council by casting ballot voting, which include which was. 92% of the students participated in the electoral process by casting ballot voting to choose the new office bearers of Council 2022-23. The Students' Council conducted lecture series in which various scientists from different fields and countries were invited to deliver motivational talks and career guidance for the students. I would like to thank our team who has been encouraging us and supporting us for the entire year and without him what we achieved would not be possible. I would also like to thank our associate patron for always supporting us throughout this journey. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Riveria, which was organized in October, which was our cultural event. These are some of the glimpses of our Riveria.
Thank you, Mr. Sairam for the report. We truly appreciate the efforts you and the Student Council put into making the previous academic year a grand success. It's a great pleasure to welcome our chief guest, Professor Nicola Lachetra, to this event. We are extremely honored to have you here today, sir. Now, I would like to invite our Dean, Dr. V. Sejian, to present the chief guest with a bouquet and shawl as a symbol of our appreciation and admiration. on stage to address the gathering. Thank you, Arya. Very good evening to all of you. Most respected, my mentor and also my one of the best friend I can claim because at abroad there is no age for anything called friendship. So like uh, we have been in touch for our last 10 years since 2013, I guess. So, like, uh, it's been a pleasure having you here, Nicola. So, it's uh, wonderful to have you here. And uh, other office bearers of the Student Council and the Associate Patron, and uh, most importantly, the uh, committee which has foreseen the election process, and most importantly, my all dear students. Uh, very good evening to one and all. So, like, uh, means like this is an important uh, day because we keep telling about like taking river to the next level this is one such event because ever since I visited Arizona State University I had a master plan of roping in Nicola because I know Nicola is traveling from Italy so I wanted to have him on board for uh, this uh, graduation day because why it is so because always the graduation day is so crucial in the sense like uh, the top veterinarian in the country usually we rope in to deliver a, a graduation day address. That's an, that itself is an honor. So, like, because we know uh, a couple of times we have roped in Nicola when I was at the Bangalore. And uh, I thought, like, uh, let me ask him if he is ready for that. So, like, we had a detailed discussion. We have spent about five days. And yes, uh, the moment I told, like, the answer is positive, but you know, like, he is so occupied. He told, like, I'll go back and then confirm you my availability. And uh, yes, he did confirm Then that was one of the uh, best moments for me personally. Because like uh, one, one thing you must understand like uh, this is not possible that easily unless until uh, a person who knows like uh, we are a sound college or we can uh, have a lot of collaboration in the future etc etc. Until unless we can, he has a trust on that what we can deliver it's very difficult to rope in. Uh, for all of your information he has come on his own. Uh, the institute has not uh, spent anything for him. Uh, that's his uh, magnanimity, like we should give him a big round of applause. For him. <laughs> he feels proud being a veterinarian. Why that idea came is that like we have about 18 odd uh, international experts at uh, Bangalore when we hosted the Commonwealth Veterinary uh, Association conference. Wherein uh, even he went to the stage, I still remember like he told, I am a veterinarian. That was the first, uh, he started his lecture, his keynote address. So that reminded me like, so it coincided when I went to Arizona. So I thought like uh, truly it would be an international when you wanted to lift the river. So that is the reason like uh, Nicola has been roped in as the chief guest today. And, and we are also very lucky like uh, he has uh, traveled at least three days before the uh, graduation day. So that that given, given us a cushion. So associate pattern was uh, we me and the associate pattern had a discussion about the, why don't we rope in because although he is in jet lag around 8:30 he was scheduled arrival today and we came back around 2 o'clock. I dropped him in the hotel and then told like uh, like you can go back and rest after you come for the, uh, the institute ceremony and then you can. He readily agreed though because that's the reason you can see that most of the schedule has been uh, circulated to all of you. Uh, very damn packed schedule we have for 
next five days for Nicola. All I can say is that like make his presence felt. People can interact with him after the ceremony also because uh, you'll be very happy to have an interaction. And another advantage we had was like uh, seven of our uh, extension students visited the uh, University of Tassia where Nicola comes from and uh, Arvind and his team have visited them and they have done wonderfully well. Uh, Nicola's best friend uh, Umberto Bernabashi and uh, he has hosted them very nicely and is one of the best hub for uh, extension program in the years to come, we are very sure. There also Nicola played an immense role uh, engaging our students, especially their presentations were attended by him and then he has given some valuable suggestions for their improvement. I'm sure like the next uh, couple of days is going to be with us and uh, many people who are aspirant of pursuing an higher studies abroad because he has traveled across, he must be having a lot of knowledge about that. Maybe whenever you find the time to interact with him, that would be highly motivating and beneficial to all of you, I'm sure about that. Coming to the uh, today's function, and uh, I mean, extremely pleased to have uh, uh, the outgoing uh, uh, student council because when I joined here, and the same time they have also been taking over as the student council members uh, for that. It's been a wonderful journey with them. Uh, the other day when I was interacting over the phone with uh, the current. Uh, newly elected uh, speaker uh, Nidhi, like I told, like it's really tough for you guys to fit in the shoes of your uh, uh, successors because they have done a fabulous job. I think uh, all the student, uh, students should stand and give them a standing ovation for what they have done as a student council member. college like uh, we are in a transition phase to elevate this college and I must say like uh, today mm, so many things the institute have uh, achieved in last one year and uh, uh, a lot of credit must go to the council members because they have been echoing our views and then anything they organized they have seen that quality was never compromised and uh, especially the speaker and the general secretary have played an instrumental role. Um, because I, I, I do claim that always I speak to the people, say like Sariga should be one of the role model leaders for, uh, the, for the, uh, the juniors. Because that's what I have spoken to even Nidhi the other day. Because uh, to fit into the shoes of Sariga is something uh, very, very tough job. I am sure like Nidhi will be at it uh, because she must be having her own plan. Because for me Sariga is something uh, which is um, really beyond imagination. A talent uh, blended with an in high, highly intelligent. Because that is what I rate her to be. So, like uh, even uh, the general secretary Sai Kumar also was equally good. They have gelled well, and then you can see the type of uh, programs they have organized, especially the Riveria, was one of the icing on the cake for their tenure, I would claim. Like uh, like that, we wanted because now it's fairly settled college. I must say, like we are really growing, and uh, uh, th this is what the uh, they have left you a footprint so for you all to follow. And I'm sure, like. If anything at all, even the other day when I was uh, having an introductory uh, talk with them, with the new council bearers, so office bearers of the new student council, so I was telling them like uh, something it is to be really a challenging job for them to surpass what the previous council have done. In that way, like uh, a tough job on their hand. I'm sure like with our guidance and the associate pattern is there, I'm sure Nidhi and as well as uh, uh, the Bharadwaj, the new general secretary uh, and the speaker respectively will be at it and then with the other office pair all are extremely talented and most important this time was like we wanted to build uh, with better citizens. Better citizens means like uh, one, of the, uh, one of the program what they organized last time there was a slide showing that uh, you need to every vote counts in the country. So with that intention we wanted to see even it's all that uh, the speaker and the general secretary and other office pairs need to be elected not selected. So it's very important that uh, we need to inculcate that, uh, uh, that uniqueness in our students like they need to really choose their leader who are better to lead them for next one year like that. Extremely thankful to uh, Mukhabadya sir for being uh, the chairman <laughs> as well as the returning officer for the uh, election, election polling. So like it was went very smoothly without any hiccup and all his wards especially Kumar sir and Avina sir and then all the contract faculties 
they played an instrumental role i was there also the other day like it was went very smoothly and then everything is seen to that like uh, it was with the perfection they have conducted all the rules and regulations were very meticulously defined and the guidelines were defined and then the elections were done in such a manner like there were no any single complaint so i think uh, a big round of applause for the election <laughs> for uh, what they have done is just something tremendous in that way i can say proudly like this council uh, members the new elected council member has a big responsibility because you are all representing all five years now but previously the respective classes used to select but then this time it is like overall all the five year students have elected you guys you have a big more responsibility because uh, without uh, biasness you need to function and then take it for of course we are there to support you don't worry at all each and every activity we will closely monitor because that is where uh, river is flowing very smoothly now and we will see to that all the functions are arranged in a perfecting manner and i'm sure like the student council uh, with the leadership of uh, nidhi as well as bharatwaj should be definitely taking forward from uh, the baton from the sariga as well as uh, sairam for running forward for next one year so keep the spirit very high wherever you go keep the river name very high and this is very very important like you should believe that uh, apart from regular stressed uh, course work you need to squeeze time to enjoy yourself be a part of this uh, esteemed institute where we are concentrating on building better citizens and i'm sure like the student council plays an immense role in motivating them to roping for each and every functions as well as for all the competition that may be organized it's very important that the office bearer take a important note here like each and every one of the students should be part of any such celebration in sport this is very vital for creating a healthy atmosphere for the students to express themselves so that you emerge as a better citizen so that you vote when you vote you choose your leader most appropriately this is the starting point for that i hope the student council makes an impact on them and then all of you are coming back and in the in your usual way and then take this institute forward in terms of maintaining utmost discipline as well as the the heritage that has been inculcated years together should be revived back because that is what the need of the hour and i want all the students to be rallying behind the council members to make any program that is getting organized in, in a nice manner so with these few words i once again wish the new office bearer best of luck and i also congratulate all the outgoing office bearers who have done a tremendous job to me thank you so much thank you sir for your inspiring words now i am profusely elated to take the opportunity to introduce our chief guest of the day uh, sir just a request from my side please excuse any pronunciation errors we may make yeah. professor nikola lachetra joined the university of tashna in 1990 as an assistant professor at the institute of animal sciences currently he is full professor and is heading the department of agriculture and forest sciences in the same university Before joining the University of Tashna, Professor Lachetra joined, uh, graduated in veterinary medicine at the University of Perugia in Italy. His main areas of research are the interactions between metabolism, immune response and health in dairy ruminants and the effects of heat stress on physiology, health and performance on dairy cows. Immunology, disease resistance and risk of death have been the main topics of his research in the field of animal biomethodology. He was a visiting professor at Calvert Animal Hospital, USA, 1986. Department of Microbiology at Colorado State University. Department of Animal Health and Husbandry at University of Bristol, UK. Laboratory Associate de Recherche, Sir Lalanthe Wallace, Sir Lapetti Romana at the Ecole Veterinaire of Lyon, France, and Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization at Brisbane, Australia, 2015. Professor Lachetra is a member of several scientific societies. with the international society of biometriology he is the chair of the commission on animal biometriology and was field editor on the international journal of biometriology for more than 10 years professor lachetra is co-author of more than 200 publication as we eagerly await his words of wisdom and insights i kindly request professor lachetra to share a few thoughts that will undoubtedly enrich our minds and hearts please join us in giving a warm welcome to professor lachetra I'm not used to have so much attention on me, so I mean, uh, and it is a joke. 
the, the joke in the sense that I was not expecting to be part of this ceremony uh, because Professor Shejan first told me if I was uh, willing to come here for the graduation day. And I said, yes, I'd be happy. After a while he told me, since you come over, I mean, it would be nice you to give a, a lecture to the students. I said, I'd be happy to do that. <laughs> and uh, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, he told me, tomorrow we are going to have a, a ceremony and I will be glad. And of course I said, again, yes, because <laughs> I'm glad to say yes to uh, the dear friend, uh, uh, Professor Sejan, and um, in particular, I'm glad to be here today uh, with a lot of young people. And uh, uh, so this is uh, something really, uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, just a few words um, um, about the ceremony. Uh, someone already said that uh, to be elected represents an honor, but it also represents a responsibility. And uh, I've seen what people who uh, did the job last year, to me, did a great job. So uh, people entering this year must do surely their best, but I'm sure that they will be able to do uh, at least what they have, have done uh, last year. And uh, uh, with also have representatives of students in Italy, but we do not have a ceremony like this. So uh, I don't want to take your time. I will pick again the graduation day during the lecture, so today is not my day. Um, so um, we do not have a ceremony like this, but I will steal the idea. Uh, no, really, really. I mean, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking, because apart from traditional stuff which make Italy and India close because the amount of tradition we both have, but the traditions are different, of course. Uh, I think that it's very important um, that the people who serve uh, as representative explain what they've been doing, and because this helps and push uh, people entering into the system as representative to do their best. So I think it's a, it's a nice um, occasion to do that. And uh, I, my, my conclusion is that uh, you surely are a hard worker. Uh, so um, a lot of study, a lot of hard work, but also some fun, uh, I've seen. And, uh, uh, which I don't think is the only duty of representatives. So um, I think you also have been doing things uh, not rel related to fun stuff or to sports, but you also represented needs uh, of students. So uh, it's also something serious, not only fun, uh, which anyway, I agree is uh, very important to make the environment an environment where to study become also something pleasant and not only hard work. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, I'll see you the 10th with some of you and uh, the 11th with some others. Thank you very much for the invitation and thank you very much for your attention. Thanks. Thank you so much, Professor, and we look forward to getting acquainted with you over the next week. Now, I would like to call upon the Chief Guest once again, and our beloved Dean, to distribute the certificates to the previous year's Council Bearers. Next, 
the general secretary mr sairam dilkush desai the sports secretary mr naresh n Cultural Secretary, Mr. Bharat Vajpayee. <laughs> Treasurer, Ms. Ashwini Yan. <laughs> Magazine Editor, Mr. Varun Chand K S. Unfortunately, he could not be here with us today. Deputy Speaker, Mr. Adil and Bashir. <laughs> Joint Secretary, Mr. Mohit Yadav. <laughs> Joint Sports Secretary, Mr. Utesh Gons. Joint Cultural Secretary, Mr. Kaushik Suryan O.C. <laughs> Joint Cultural Secretary, Mr. Agnesh Chaturvedi. signifies not just a transfer of titles but a commitment to uphold values inspire progress and guide others through unwavering dedication as we witness this ritual let us remember that true leadership goes beyond mere position it's a promise to serve to inspire and to ignite positive change may this english teacher kindle a spirit of purpose and excellence within our newly inducted members propelling them to steer our endeavors towards a brighter future for all Once again, I require, uh, I request the chief guest and the dean to join us for badging for the badging ceremony, as we introduce the newly elected students council. I would like to welcome the speaker for the students council for the year 2023-24 Ms Nidhi Prakash The general secretary for the students council Mr Bharat Rajpi Students Council, Mr. Ajay Dhanamalai. <laughs> Cultural Secretary, Mr. Sabarish B. Treasurer of the Students Council, Mr. Sandeep. <laughs> Magazine editor, Ms. Shanmati Shivaji.
Deputy Speaker, Mr. Jeevan Jacob Raghi. Joint Secretary, Ms. Gauri Vinod. <laughs> Joint Secretary Sports, Mr. Danush A. Joint Cultural Secretary, Mr. Ashwin Raj S. <laughs> Joint Cultural Secretary, Mr. Ashish Pandey. Congratulations to our newly elected student council members. Wishing you a transformative and successful tenure ahead. I now request the speaker of the student council, Ms. Nidhi Prakash, to deliver the oath. Uh, I would like to request the chief guest and the team to gather, join the gathering for the oath. request the council bearers and the speakers to extend your right hand for the oath. Kindly follow me. I solemnly pledge to uphold the values of integrity, leadership and service as a member of the student council. I promise to foster an inclusive and harmonious environment on campus, promoting collaboration and understanding among all members of our college community. I shall work with unwavering commitment towards the betterment of our college, contributing to its growth and progress. This oath I take with humility and pride knowing that I have been entrusted with the responsibility to serve my fellow students and our institution. conducted several competitions in the spirit of themes for World Environment Day, focused on solutions to reduce plastic pollution under the international campaign hashtag Beat Plastic Pollution. Several enthusiastic students participated and produced incredibly creative and artistic pieces, which deserve to be commented. I kindly request Professor Nicola Lachetra to hand out the awards for the winners of slogan writing, best out of waste competition, and poster making competition. First time we will distribute the prizes for the winners of the poster making competition. The first position is backed by Adityan PS from the first year.
In second place, we have Manjima Manoj Kumar from third year. In third place, we have Harita MD from first year. Next up for the slogan writing competition results, first place goes to Devo Sanjesh Kumar of third year. Second place goes to Udaya Kharisma of third year. Third place goes to Alakia R of second year. Next, for the best out of waste results, first place is backed by third years. Sharulata, Eka Oviasi, and Bangka Oya. Second prize is backed by first years Rahul Kumar, Ashish Pate, and Naimesh Varma. Next, the consolation prize goes to second years, Sandeep, Baudani, and Shivharni. Now I'd like to invite our dean to facilitate our chief guest with a memento on the behalf of our college. Thank you, sir. As we draw this investiture ceremony to a close, let us continue to shine as a community, united by purpose and fueled by the potential of each individual. I now invite the General Secretary of the Students' Council 2023-24, Mr. Bharat Vajpayee, to deliver the word of thanks. Very good evening. 
respected dean dr v sejian esteemed chief guest professor nikola lasitra associate patron dr ravinash lagawa sir and, and professors and fellow students a very good evening i stand here today with immense gratitude and a heart full of appreciation as we gather here to express our sincere thanks sincere thanks for making this investor ceremony a grand success this event has not only marked a significant milestone in our academic journey but also given us the opportunity to recognize our recognize, our, recognize and honor the exceptional individuals who have contributed to our growth and development first and foremost i would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to our respected dean for his unwavering support and guidance throughout our academic journey your leadership and dedication have played a pivotal role in shaping us into professionals as we have been to be our const your constant en encouragement and belief in our abilities has given us the confidence to strive for excellence i would like to express my deepest gratitude to our esteemed chief guest for facing this occasion for your presence your words of wis wisdom and encouragement have left an indelible mark in our minds our valuable insights and experiences have inspired us to dream bigger and work diligently towards achieving our goals to our associate patron thank you for your constant guidance and mentorship have a, have not only helped us excel academically but also instilled in us in our sense of responsibility and integrity to my fellow students thank you for your support and enthusiasm and de determination have made this investor ceremony a grand success La last but not certainly least i would like like to express my gratitude to the diligent team headed by dr srinivasan for for live streaming of the investor ceremony in all social platforms and the engineering section behind the success in the diverse efforts in organizing this event for flawlessly uncommendable from the meticulous planning to the seamless execution you have ensured that the every aspect of the ceremony is resounding a success in con in conclusion i would like to reiterate my heartfelt thanks to our respected dean esteemed chief, chief guest and associate patel and professors and fellow council bearers and the volunteers and the hard working engineering team for making this event a, a truly memorable and rem remarkable event thank you May our journey ahead be marked by accomplishments that uplift and inspire. Thank you for being such a wonderful audience. We hope you have a wonderful evening. Please note that refreshments will be served outside the hall. Kindly rise for the national anthem. Chal jay.